hi. <laughs> it's uh, it's been a while. I guess that would be an understatement. In case you've forgotten, I am Applement, and welcome back to my channel. As I, I, I used to say. So I am making this video for a couple of reasons that I wanted to share today. I know this is my first video on the channel in over a year. And um, you can tell because I already filmed this video with no audio and so now I'm redoing it because <laughs> it couldn't be that smooth right something had to go wrong anyway I wanted to talk about why I've been gone where I've been and you know the I guess where I plan on taking my channel or what's going to happen with my channel in the future because I kind of up and disappeared and didn't really say anything and uh, <laughs> in terms of that I have a few reasons um, one of them being just burnout in general I think the algorithm and keeping up with the numbers and the statistics on YouTube and just always worrying about the amount of views and whether you know whether this video was gonna be good enough or that video was gonna be good enough or whatever. It just became a lot after a while and I think the stress about that was getting to me. I was posting videos weekly for about five or six years and then at some point it turned to bi-monthly, two, two videos, <laughs> a video every other week. That's what I mean to say. Basically, I just kind of fell off of that then around November of last year, I just knew I needed a break. Pepper, please. Pepper is underneath me licking my blanket. You remember Pepper, right? Say hi. He's two now. He's gonna hang out here with me. But as I was saying, yeah, I, I stopped making videos about a year ago and at first it was it was not intentionally supposed to be this long of a break. It was supposed to be maybe just for a few weeks and a few weeks turned into a few months and a few months just became a year. And so, I, and the longer that time passed, the more anxious I had gotten about making a post or something about where I was because even I didn't know what I wanted to do whether I wanted to stop doing YouTube altogether or I just needed a break like I wasn't sure I started getting a lot of questions about you know oh where where have you been or where why haven't you posted or are you okay and I really appreciate the concern but I can assure you everything's been fine you might notice I'm in a new location because uh, we moved not that long ago so things have been a little hectic this year um, and that is part of it, but it is not the reason. People were concerned where I was, and the longer that went on, the more anxious I got about it, and I started kind of pushing it off, like figuring out how I was gonna respond. I just kind of kept pushing it away, because <laughs> that was easier to do than facing it. So that was largely why I didn't really say anything. Though I have been active on my social media, being Twitter, I refuse to call it the other name, Twitter is what it is, and TikTok is something I recently started using just because, you know, I, we gotta keep up with the times, right? It, that's, people are posting on TikTok, gotta have a TikTok. Anyway, I've been posting on other social media, so I haven't disappeared completely, but in terms of YouTube, yeah, I've just not really been here. So, like I said, the reason for that is mostly burnout and just feeling like I needed a break because it gets to be a lot to keep up with always worrying about the numbers and worrying about what people might want to see and the kind of content that does well on YouTube is the kind of content that tends to be a little more kitschy and a little bit more pandery to, you know, trying out this insane art supply or trying out this challenge or whatever it is. And you know, a lot of artists do make videos about that and I'm not knocking them because that's fine. It's just for me, I think I got tired of doing videos like that and it didn't really feel like I was enjoying them after a while. I was just making videos to make videos and I don't want to do that. I want to make videos because I enjoy them. This is my full-time job, doing this plus my online store, which I've been very busy with, my Patreon, pin club, and just like everything all together. It's been a lot. I still do conventions and artist alleys, but YouTube is part of my main job, so I do realize that <laughs> making videos is important, but I don't want my videos to just feel forced. I don't want my videos to feel like I just slapped them together, and sometimes it did feel that way. So I knew I needed a break, and I needed to kind of recenter and decide what I wanted to do with my content as a whole before I came back to YouTube. In terms of what I plan on doing with the channel, that I think is a little more foggy though I do know that I want to keep making videos I don't want to just disappear because I do enjoy making content I do enjoy making videos and like sharing my art I have a lot of artwork that I've created in the past year and I've just not shared the process of them and I could share them and I probably will 
share some of them with some voiceovers or whatever it might be or just use it for something but I don't want that to be the only kind of content I make I know that was a lot of what I was making toward the toward the time before I just before I disappeared so I want to be able to make videos kind of pertaining to what I do now I know that I made a video about how to make enamel pins like two or three years ago and that video did decently well people were interested in it and I would like to make a part two about that but I'd also like to make some videos pertaining to how to make other things and how to run a business or how or just my daily artist life like I said this is my full-time job and so I might as well share that with you but I one thing I do know is that I don't think I want to be sticking to any form of a schedule in terms of like a hard upload schedule the pressure I think of having to to let a video release every week every two weeks whatever your schedule is is a lot <laughs> and I know some creators do it once a month or they they do twice a week or you know people have a very regimented schedule and the algorithm likes that <laughs> but as I said the algorithm is the part that stresses me out and worrying about the views makes it a little bit more difficult to enjoy the content and put my like heart into it and I think that starts to show after a while that you're not enjoying it you know or that I'm not enjoying it and I don't want that to happen so my plan currently is to release videos when oh my god pepper please pepper, oh my goodness hold on please sir I'm filming. Can you be good? Yeah? Oh, okay. That's a good boy. So my plan is to continue making videos, but to do them, you know, when I have the inspiration or the time or, you know, content that I feel like I want to share. So my videos can be more quality and also so I can just put more time into making them. Videos can be filmed over a longer period of time rather than just rushing them within the week because they have to get done that is something that was happening and I don't like that feeling of like you know I'm filming right now and I need to get this artwork done in like two days because it needs to go up by Friday so the art might come out a little crappy <laughs> and I don't like that I want to just spend my time on whatever I'm working on and if it happens that week it happens and if it doesn't then it can happen the next week or whenever it's ready and I think the lack of pressure and the pullback will make me feel better overall about my content and will just hopefully show through to you guys <laughs> so I mean I hope I'm not like rambling too much this is something that I've been wanting to make for a while but again I like I said I wasn't sure how I was gonna go about it I wasn't sure what I want Pepper. I wasn't sure what I wanted to say and now I you know this past week I was like you know what I think I'm ready I think it's time and hopefully you guys uh, have watched this far into the video. If you have, I really do appreciate it. Or just for clicking on this video at all, if, if YouTube even showed it to you, because I know that sometimes YouTube's algorithm can be weird about even showing videos to your own subscribers. So hopefully this video is popping up for you guys and you're seeing it. And as I said, I, you know, I've been active on my social media. I will have my little, I think a QR code might be a little easier to put here. I will have all my links below as well. But I do have a QR code that li links directly to my website where I keep... Rude. I have a card where I keep all of my links, my social media, my online store, Patreon, pin club, the same, the same spiel that I always used to do. It's all there. So I would really, really appreciate it if you guys followed me there because I do keep active on those platforms. So I would appreciate that. And especially with the holidays coming up, you know there's going to be gonna be stuff that I'm gonna be posting sales and such <laughs> but anyway I, I do appreciate you guys sticking around and being concerned as to where I was and I hope to not have disappointed you too much and that my channel can be something that's fun for me and fun for you guys and just enjoyable overall so I appreciate it peeper here appreciates it look look how look how appreciative he is <laughs> so anyway we uh, we this is a we channel now peepers is part of the channel we hope that you guys continue watching and thanks for welcoming us back onto the platform and we hope to see you guys soon so thank you for watching and have a great week great weekend and <laughs> say bye and we'll see you guys next time bye we'll see you guys next time <laughs> bye